My goal is for each and every one of you to have as much success on the water as possible, and I think you're really gonna like this. Well, in the title of the video, I talk about you need to be throwing this right now, and it's so true. Bass are starting to change their food sources, and yes, they're always gonna eat crawdads, and you can always flip and pitch around cover and get bites, but this is the time of year from now in, the, in this midsummer all the way through early fall and into late fall actually, that they really start to transition and key in on bait fish, whether those are shad, minnows, whatever you have in your home body of water. And one of the most effective ways that I know of to catch these fish when you run across them is with this particular lure right here. It's often called the Damiki rig. Uh, this is actually an Okashira head with a baby Z2 on here. It's a Laztec, but it is salt impregnated. Uh, this is such an effective technique. This is one of those techniques, it, if it has a downside, it's that it catches everything. In the same outing I've been out there, caught big panfish, crappie, bluegills, rock bass, walleye, northern, little bass, four or five pound bass, all in the same outing. This thing just catches a ton of fish. Why? Because it mimics minnows or small bait fish so perfectly. And the brilliant part about this particular presentation is it's so, so easy to fish. Beginning anglers can have success with this. Veteran anglers can have success with this. So let's talk about the presentations and how you can use this and how during this time of the year, even when it's really tough out, you're still going to get some bites. This particular rig can be fished horizontally and vertically with tremendous effectiveness. As a matter of fact, a lot of anglers first started getting onto this with a vertical jigging presentation in the dead of winter when bass have got their bellies right down there on the bottom. You can sit there with this rig and just jig it right over the top of them. Same thing uh, can be applied like in the normal situation where you might use a drop shot and vertically jig those fish. This rig can do the exact same thing very well. As you're jigging it up and down because of the Elastec, it doesn't take much action to keep that tail up and horizontal. Now, if you leave it sit absolutely still, it's gonna go ahead and dip just a little bit, but because of the Elastec, it doesn't fall straight down, let's say, as it would with a traditional plastic. Now, I prefer to use this presentation horizontally. I like to cast it out there and then go ahead and bring it back. The retrieve is so simple. Now, I do like to, when I've got it on my spinning rod, so I'll put my hand all the way up here in the front to balance it well, you'll see me when I'm fishing this, tapping it with my index finger as I'm reeling this lure in. And what that does is it makes the tail kick. If you just reel it straight, which still works, that tail doesn't move and it just you know glides right through the water very, very smoothly. But when you just tap it like this, the slightest tap, that tail kicks and it looks so ultra realistic. So that's really the only thing I do different on my horizontal presentations than let's say maybe some other anglers do is I keep that tail action going. Now the trick is what depth do you want to fish this? Okay, because it's light on these Okashira type heads, they're very, very lightweight. You can stay up in that top part of the water column extremely easily, which makes it effective for fishing around docks and lay downs and over the tops of you know some submerged vegetation. But it also works well by casting an outlet, it sink down to the bottom and then start to reel it and swim it back. And every so often pause it, let it sink all the way down and then reel it again. So you keep it down there on the bottom. Either way works well. The hook sets are very easy. It just loads up. As a matter of fact, right before I filmed this, I went down on my dock to give it a, a couple casts on about the third or fourth cast. Boom, bass just nailed it. And it, it's such a fun bite because you're swimming it back and it just loads and runs. Just takes off so the hook sets are very easy as well another great lure this time of year when when the bass are really starting to congregate on those schools of bait fish is a flutter spoon i will have a video coming up on that one in the upcoming weeks but hey if you would like to watch another video that 
talks about a very peculiar small mouth behavior and large mouth will do this as well this time of year and what's actually going on go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure you go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers